this is about Bifrost. Why is it about Bifrost, you might ask. Yeah, I know it's a little bit of an overkill, but uh, we have a Bifrost material here inside that box that uh, is a, an arrow, it's a, it's a gas, which creates that light. And the light is pr quite persistent uh, in different uh, outside lighting set settings. I have a physical f sky dome wrapping around the whole scene, so it's pretty late in the evening maybe, uh, with, the, with the shadow here. But uh, in another rendering here, you can imagine this is moonlight coming from here, and still a very nice lighting inside here. Uh, here we have, uh, it's not totally rendered through, so you have some uh, cleaning up um, to be done here uh, and here. But basically this is a very dark scene and uh, the, the light inside is still very nice. And even if you pump up the physical sky dome to a uh, nice afternoon, like here, um, it's still vivid there and uh, living there and uh, still you can see the shadows from the from the, uh, the windows uh, where the light falls through currently we have a main shadow right here this is not finished rendering as you can see as well um, when I switch off the sky dome totally this is what I get and this is uh, not rendered completely as you can see either uh, you have to use quite high render settings in order to get this anti-aliasing here uh, uh, cleaned up all right but basically you see that uh, there's no light in the scene from the outside everything is coming from the inside and spilling the light out here uh, all over the place now i show you the the scene this is the scene it's a box basically on a floor here on the red floor the house is just a simple polygon cube where I cut out several faces um, and uh, when I hide this you see the light and the light is basically a bifrost arrow so um, let, let us render this let's hide the object again and let's render this without the house so that's what it is, a beam of light. Not exactly a beam, just a blob of light. Lots of light around it. Let's see where you find the setting so to make it that bright and to make it um, yellow. Uh, you find it, for example, if you go to, if you select it and right mouse click Material Attributes. You see that the material used here is a AI standard volume material. So we don't have a surface material. There's no skin to that um, aero object. It's just a volume material uh, represented in black because um, uh, it, it's, it's a volume. It's not the surface. This would represent a surface here. So we click here and here we find several things. So here is the density. The density, uh, you can lower it like this. Now it's uh, 0 0.1, so it's very little dense, so to say. And you can pump it up so it's quite bright here. So I did something here. But the main thing which cr produces that light is the emission. So you have uh, the emission section here. If you open it, you uh, by default it's set to none so there's no light in the scene now but I set it to density and um, the weight means how intense this effect works very intense when I uh, move this slider to the left and uh, barely, uh, barely nothing right here so it can regulate the light in the house here and uh, this is the color of the um, of the interior light. If I wanted a, it to be blue, that's what I would do. So let's bring back the house. And have a look at the rendering now. Well, I hope you like it and um, of course you can make much 
simpler lights uh, which look as good but this is just an example of uh, how you can use a bifrost fluid in this case an arrow in order to light a scene quite interestingly bye